Through the power of editing, it often looks like this video is shot within the time frame indicated, but it actually spans sometimes days, even weeks. And definitely you can see the sun is out this side. No, it's not really out. It's a little bit overcast today. We are almost done. And I was just thinking, I took a break and I was walking in the garden and I thought, how come five plus years ago I could do a tutorial in one hour? And the reason was because we didn't have mobile and all of these other things that we had to look at. It was just one design. It was very easy. And things have become, I would say, a little bit more complicated or intriguing over the last few years. So we add more. And that's why tutorials go longer. And especially here on Websites for Beginners, my goal is to make sure that you have a very good understanding of what we are doing. And I will put a condition on that even in most cases when we're done with all these modules, you will still have many questions. My answer is do it and do it again. But I also will add to that. Those things that you wonder about and you find out you never use it, don't break your brain over that. Just move on. Maybe one day you'll bounce into that and you'll find that you need to know that. That's what our professor Google is for. Or Dr. Bing. Right, <laughs> Dr. Bing, I like that. We looked at the menu. That's where we were, and I'm actually looking at my notes quickly here. We were looking at the menu. We did the header menu at the top. Perfect. Not so crazy about the white, but that's fine. And I want to show you, we didn't reference the demo that much. This is the demo on the left. Look, it's just by doing the same thing with the same template, you get to something that is pretty much similar, right? And, and that's a great part of it. I see even the icon here is different. No problem. Our header looks different. I like what we've done so far. You, you can sell this to someone. Tell them to pay you. Now we're going to go all the way to the bottom because we have activated Bloxy's footer. And we also want to add a menu there. That's often what you get is a menu at the bottom as people scroll down. And then they think, I want to go check this again. And then they click on the menu. Again, this is a very, very short one pager. Menus aren't actually that important, but we're going to do it nonetheless. Click on Customize. And these things go quicker and quicker now. When we get to the next module, which is the core module, I'm not going to explain to you even more what a customizer is. These things should be locking in at this moment. And we select footer here on the left. Scroll down on the right so you can just see the visual display of the footer. And remember, we have this copyright that we've put here. Click on bottom row because how this works in the footer is you, you need to have columns. You cannot drag these elements next to each other. You have to put them in columns. And that is because of the nature of widgets. And we select bottom row and in the options sidebar on the left, click on two and it gives us two columns. You can see you can make a layout 50-50 or what is that, 70-30. That's not important because what we're going to do here is we're going to just keep it at 50-50. Then click back to get to the elements. You see the footer menu. Click hold and drag and you put that on the right and you drop the footer menu in there. And there we see the footer menu appears. Select it and then from our settings on the side, we're going to go to horizontal alignment and select the one on the right. So we can shift all of that this side. Everything is nicely balanced. And that is our footer header. Footer header, our footer block. It's not a footer header. And we've added our footer menu. This menu, as I hover over it, you will see it still has that blue that's coming with Bloxy. And we want to put it on a color for us. This is an independent menu from menu one. And remember when we created the menus, we were assigning them to menu one, menu two, footer menu. This footer menu element only works in the footer builder. Select it by clicking on the settings. You can click here or on itself. And then we go to design and we change this color. For the font color, let's go and grab our maroon again. I'll copy that code paste it, and I'll do the same for these. I'm going to use the same value, hashtag in front. Remember that when you work with colors, the name, it depends. Some don't need the hashtag. Most of the time, you need the hashtag. There you have it. Let's have a look on mobile, how this will display. Scroll to the bottom. 
and here we need to make changes. Now, I remember when we did the crash course here, we ran into some issues with the alignment. Let's go back to general. I'll click on copyright. And here's the horizontal alignment. I will go here and for tablet, put it on horizontal. Let's go back to desktop. It's on the left. Nice. And let's do the same. No, no, no. On the left. Yes, I'm getting confused. Then we click tablet, center, and then for mobile, it should also now be centered because it goes top down. Let's do the same for our footer menu. Select the element, go to horizontal alignment, and I'll start here by clicking on the desktop. Then I'll go to tablet and I'll put it on center. And it didn't go to center. I don't see it. And we go to mobile. Let's see. It's also not on center. Strange, not sure why. Not sure what I'm doing here. Item spacing, is it that? It's also not. I, it doesn't seem to me to be responsive. Let me publish, save this, and reload the page. You know, with the customizer, if you've worked with customizers a long time, this often happens with the customizers. Scroll to the bottom, and I'll click here to take us into the menu. Let's go to our, ah, absolutely, there it is. This is as old as the mountains in WordPress, and it doesn't matter how good a developer they are. When it comes to the customizer, you make changes. It doesn't look like it's updating on the page, but it's actually updating. This is exactly what happened. I thought, should I edit this out? I'm going to leave it in so you understand. Often you make a change and nothing happens on the page and you think something is wrong. You're doing something wrong. But don't worry, you are still a genius. The world still bows at your feet. But in this case, I forgot about that. So not such a genius after all. The only thing that bothers me is this immense space between the edit, not between the edit, between the copyright and the footer. So I will click on our bottom row. And then we have column spacing, widget spacing. That should be it. Column spacing, maybe column spacing. Ah, column spacing. Let's put widgets back. There we go. Ah, I've redeemed myself. And there we go. Whew. A little bit of a tense moment there, but we work through it. And I see that this here is still justified text, which I cannot stand. Publish it. We were working on the footer here, something that should have been just like that. Couldn't understand what I did wrong. I didn't disappoint my parents. All that happened was that the customizer didn't update in the display. We went to the front end, we published and we exit, but I want you to go into the Brizzy editor for this page. Just like you can enter the customizer for Bloxy, you can also edit Brizzy directly from the front. And you see here at the top, it says edit page with Brizzy. And we select that, that takes us straight into our Brizzy page builder. Go to responsive view on the left and put it on mobile. Scroll down, scroll down. And over here under Angelique McKay, select the text and align it to the left. That justified text is an absolute no go. And we're done. Control S, Command S, and I'll hit Control Plus to move up to tablet. And one more time, we move to our desktop. And now we've changed our footer, we've changed our header, we've set the menu. Our page is looking really good.